then uh, another area in which I want to uh, speak about is within the New Testament itself, it also speaks about an actual injil given to Jesus in his lifetime. SubhanAllah. This is a very important verse which you can point out towards your Christian friends to show them that even from the biblical perspective, it speaks about an injil that was given to Jesus in his lifetime. And SubhanAllah, this is a very, uh, a very important and effective uh, evidence which you can uh, present to them. So, in Mark chapter 1, verse 14, it says, Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee preaching the Evangelion of God. Now in English, in the English translations of the New Testament, you don't see the word Evangelion. You see the word gospel. The word has been changed to a word gospel, which simply doesn't mean anything really. It's, it's, it's from the English word God spell, and it's kind of a, a new word which was invented into the English language. Of course, now, uh, after this word has been invented, sometimes they use it as the gospel truth or things like that. It's referring to something that is, is divine. The point here is that in the original Greek version of the New Testament, in chapter Mark, verse one, verse, uh, 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 ch chapter Mark 1, verse 14, it says that Jesus was preaching the gospel of God. So what's interesting is that, that Mark, the book of Mark, and the books of the New, the New Testament were authored after Isa a.s. They were biographies authored after Isa, but these biographies are claiming that Isa a.s. had something in his lifetime, subhanAllah. So the Muslim can ask the question, where is this Injil? Where is this Evangelion? Where is this book that Isa a.s. was preaching in his lifetime? That's the book that Muslims believe in. That's the book that the Quran is referring to. Also, according to the Bible, the, the, the next verse goes on to say that uh, it says that now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee preaching the gospel of God. And then it says, repent and believe in the gospel. SubhanAllah, according to the Bible, it's saying that Jesus is saying that people should believe in this Evangelion and accept this gospel, accept this book that Allah has revealed. SubhanAllah, this is a very uh, intriguing uh, uh, evidence from the Bible to show that even within the biblical scriptures, it's speaking about the Islamic perspective in Geo rather than these later books authored by people. <coughs> 